season in the postseason. Aaron Judge, though, struggling. One for four tonight, just three for 22 this postseason. Let's hear from Judge. Aaron, are you surprised how quickly the tide turned in this series? Uh, it's a good team. You know, they won, um, won our division. Uh, they got a good pitching staff, great offense. It's able to manufacture a lot of runs. Um, now we knew we were in for a dogfight. You know, we were in for, you know, they're not going to let up. You know, even us getting that first game under our belt, you know, getting a W, I knew they were going to come out fighting, come out swinging the next couple games. So, um, you know, now it's time for us to do the same thing, you know, turn around and, um, you know, we, we've been in this position before. You know, we've been in a position where we're down, you know, to our final game. And um, it's just about how we respond, you know, take it one inning at a time, one pitch at a time, and um, just continue to do our job. You mentioned turning it around. How do you do that knowing it's win or go home? Well, I think it's that simple, you know, knowing that it's win or go home. You know, those are the games that, you know, you live for is the ones where it's your back's up against the wall. You know, that's what it's about. You know, it's a pressure-filled situation, and we knew going into the postseason there's going to be a lot of pressure situation and, and big moments, but that's, you know, that's what we live for. You know, we've earned that right to, you know, get this opportunity to, you know, battle down to the end, you know, so we're going to continue to do that. And, uh, you know, it's time just to, you know, recharge, refocus, and, you know, get ready for the next two games. Thanks, Aaron. Welcome. Bruce Beck, you have the next question. Aaron, you mentioned uh, pressure pack. Do you embrace a situation like this with it all on the line? Yeah, winner go home. You know, those those are the games I like to play in. You know, the, you know, those wild card games. You know, it's it's do or die. You know, that's what you live for as an athlete and, and as a player. And um, you know, we got a squad that's ready to do that. You know, it's yeah, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. You know, coming in here. You know, especially after we won the first game, we knew it wasn't. Gonna, they weren't going to you know fold over. So uh, you know, this is what we're made for. This is what we're ready for. And you know, it's just about us going out there and trying to take care of business. Thank you. Welcome, Marley Rivera. You have the next question. Hi, Aaron. When uh, Kevin Kermeyer said this is race baseball at its finest, so how do you beat them at their own game? Race baseball at its finest. Um, well, do you believe that to be true? Yeah, they're a good ball club. You know, um, you know, they're able to use the whole field. They get guys on base. They got good speed, good pitching. Um, you know, but we got a lot of good, you know, <laughs> a lot of strong attributes as well. You know, it's. Uh, we just got to stick to our game. You know, we play our game. You know, the outcome will be the way we want it to, and um, that's all we can focus on. You know, if we're focused on other guys or focused on other things, you know, it just only take us away from our strength. So we just need to, you know, refocus, get back in line, and you know, do what we need to do. Uh, Aaron, and how comfortable do you feel that you guys will be able to put together a solid pitching game with John Mon Jordan Montgomery on the mound, and then also offensively contributing all of you, not only Giancarlo Stan? Yeah, I got a lot of confidence in Monty. You know, I've seen him, you know, this season, you know, go out there and do his thing. You know, he's a, you know, dominant left-handed pitcher and he's going to pound the strike zone. You know, he's going to get out. You know, he's going to, you know, keep us in this ball game. I know that for sure. And then our offense, yeah, like you said, G's been doing a lot of work, but we got a lot of guys that are, you know, just missing their pitch. And, um, you know, we got a lot of baseball still left to play. So it's just about, you know, let's do our homework, you know, refocus, recalibrate, and, you know, get ready for the next two days. Dave Lennon, you have the next question. Aaron, you kind of touched on it with that, but it seems like when, when the Rays got mistakes, that they're not missing them right now. And you and you guys, when you do get a hittable pitch, you're just not kind of squaring it up. I mean, is that what it's feeling like? It's just that, that little bit of a separation there that, that's, that's been the difference? Yeah, especially in postseason. You can't give, you know, especially a team like the Rays, you can't give them any extra outs, any extra um, mistakes, nothing like that. you got to be on your toes. You know, on a team like that, when they get mistakes, they've been, you know, doing damage on it and right now you know we had a couple situations and I know we had bases loaded and you know we we're only able to scrap out one run um yeah it's just about when we get a mistake you know which is very few with the pitching staff that they got you know we got to capitalize you know we just got to wear them down you know get pitch counts up you know when we get a good pitch ahead we got to drive it you know so that's been the big difference so far these past two games so um yeah it's just time for us to you know lock it back in and, and refocus and get going do you feel like you just missed a few yourself Aaron, do you think you've had some good pitches to hit that you just haven't been able to, to barrel out for? Yeah, yeah, they've been, you know, they've been working the corners pretty well. And then the ones I do get over the plate, you know, just a little out in front, a little off the end, a little something there, here and there. Um, you know, but the thing is, you just got to keep swinging. You know, that's the only way to, you know, 
you know, change the tide, just to continue to keep swinging, keep having good at bats, keep battling, and just kind of pass the baton. You know, we got a good solid team uh, up and down this lineup that can do damage and you know work counts. So we just got to continue to focus, like I said earlier, focus on you know our strength, what we need to do, and you know get ready for the next game. Thanks, Aaron. You're welcome. Tom Merriam, you have the next question. Aaron, as an accomplished power hitter yourself, what are your thoughts on what Stanton's been doing in the playoffs? Oh, it's been incredible. Um, this is the type of player that I knew he is. He's always been, you know, a guy that can come up in big situations, hits you a homer. Um, doesn't matter the situation, he'll hit you a homer. Using all all parts of the field, you know, against relievers, against starters, you know, great starters. Uh, it's been impressive, you know. And then also he'll, he'll mix in a single here and there too. It's uh, it's been been fun to watch so far. You know, we just need to step up as a team and. You know, and, su and support him, you know, as he keeps doing his thing. You know, we got to, you know, get some more guys on base for him so we can, you know, those two run homers or maybe three run homers, you know.